Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to a new day of the Elder Scrolls Arena. We are still fast traveling to Tenmail Forest. Should arrive there in a few days. I'm 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 feeling perky. I just ate a bunch of uh, croissants. Um, are they croissants? They're, they're technically they're not they're not croissant shaped, but they're they're croissants. Japan is really interesting about bread because when they when they make bread, they're these like little boutique bakery shops that sell like croissants and, and rolls and, and and they're all like like super sweet like they're either covered in sugar which is great I love that or they're like injected with like chocolate or or vanilla like like liquid liquid chocolate like melted down chocolate they're just injected into like say a bread roll. Then you got the ones where the chocolate is like, it's kind of hard to describe, it's like infused in the bread. Like it's not just, they just shoved a needle with some chocolate in it and just had chocolate go into it. They actually like, when baking it, baked it so that some parts of the cake are um, cake and the other parts are chocolate cake. Like, you know when you get, like, a, um, a, what, oh my god, what do you call those things? Sweet rolls? It's like a, like a, a spiral-shaped thing, and, like, usually they're different colours, and that's what makes the, you know, the, but the, the difference with that being is that each roll, or each ring, or whatever, is actually a separate piece of, like, cake that's made and then they arrange it into that circle shape. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about rolls like croissants for example where there's like streaks, lines in the croissant that are chocolate. And I don't know how they do that. I do not, I do not, I don't really want to know but it's great. Um, usually they're not that cheap. Bread's, bread's not that cheap in, uh, in Japan but um you know, it's not terribly bad, and, and these, these bread rolls are quite filling, like, you could buy, I, I guess in that regard, they are quite cheap, like, they're not, bread's more expensive than other countries, but if you're eating, if you just want a, a quick snack in the morning or something, then, yeah, go for that, because it's great. Yeah, let's move on. So, uh, Borderlands 2 Loot Hunt update, you know, you gotta do it. So yesterday, uh, what do we have to do? Um, Tiny Tina started, for some reason, speaking Japanese. And I didn't quite understand why. Because, so, okay, so the description of, of, of yesterday's was, Ohayou gozaimasu, which is good morning in Japanese. Shore. Ohayou gozaimasu, shore. Got some info. You go to the mines of Aravis or the forest in my fantasy world, you'll find the super not kawaii, kawaii being cute, warlord Turge. Smash him in the butt and he'll drop the lassure, which you can tell is super fancy because you don't pronounce half the letters or whatever. Hmm. Okay, so Warland Tuge was the, um, Warlord Tuge, rather, was the uh, target for yesterday in the Mines of Aravis. Now, the Mines of Aravis, didn't notice until I started doing it, is part of Tiny Tina's, um, Tiny Tina's, what's her name? Tiny Tina's DLC, which I guess that makes sense because we haven't really done any of our DLC yet. Um, well, there was that one from, like, I think the first week, but that was, like, yeah, wasn't really, didn't have to get into the DLC to actually do that. This one, you do have to get a decent amount through the DLC to actually get to this guy. So he drops the less, whatever, it's, it's kind of, you know what, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a, the Bone Shredder that we got, you know, the other day. It's just it's just a submachine gun that does double shot. So and it's dull, so it does the best fire when you when you zoom in. It's really nothing to write home about. Uh, now the target um, 
for uh, yesterday was to kill 30,000 Orc Zerkers. Didn't even know that was a thing, Orc Zerker. It's basically a gun Zerker, only it's an Orc. Makes sense. Um, yeah, we totally made that target, so we've just got one more day to go before we can get the sky rockets inside. Whoop! Afternoon light! Oh, afternoon light! Okay, so, also yesterday in news, uh, lean on me. So, uh, dial side machine guns have increased stability. They'll help you carry on. Oh, you mean like, lean on me, when you're not strong, I'll be your friend, I'll help you carry on. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, alright, enough random singing in friggin, in friggin Borderlands 2 Loot Hunt related talk while fast traveling in Elder Scrolls Arena. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's one thing I do want to talk about actually, and that was, let's go back to, not yesterday's, but the day before yesterday's target, which was the son of Mothrak, and it gave us the Bone Shredder, and I was talking about how the Bone Shredder and the Dove were my favourite weapons. Now, at the time that I actually recorded that, I hadn't actually used the Bone Shredder, I just like, I did, I killed... Son of Mothrak to get the actual gun. That's literally all I'd done so far. Um, well, I tried out the Bone Shredder after uh, I finished recording that. Guess what? It's totally nothing like the original Bone Shredder. There was only two things that make it similar to the original Bone Shredder. One, actually no, three things. Alright, three. One, it's grey and it kind of looks like the gun that it used to be even though it used to be a TDR gun um, and now it's a bandit gun which makes sense because now TDR guns do the stupid thing where you throw it and it it explodes and you re yeah old TDR guns didn't do that so I used to like old TDR in Borderlands 1 I love TDR because in Borderlands 1 if you used a particular brand more when you looked at your character profile screen, it actually sh splashed the logo for that company. And I know that it was either Dahl or TDR. Because TDR made the, the Bone Shredder, I think Dahl made the Dove, and then the Thumper that I had, which was the other submachine gun that did like quad damage, was also a Dahl. So I think I was... I went through most of the game with the Bone Shredder, so I'm pretty sure, because you don't get the dull until like, later on in the game, so I'm pretty sure I was TDR for most of the game, and then I started shifting to dull when I started using the, the, the Dove a lot more. Anyway, where was I? Three things that are, that, that are similar. Okay, so the first thing is it, it's grey and it kind of looks like the TDR gun it used to be, even though it's not actually TDR. Two, it does do uh, the times two double damage that the old gun used to do. Fair enough, I'll give you that. And three, uh, the description it says, and the lead wind, the lead wind blows, which is exactly what it said in the first game. This is where the similarities of this gun end. Okay, first of all, well, my memory of the bone shredder is that um, when you zoom in and you shoot the bullets are fairly accurate as at least if you do burst fire like if you shoot in shoot in small bursts it will pretty much be like very accurate this bone shredder BL2's bone shredder is not accurate at all bullets just fly all over the shop it's just impossible to actually act it's basically as inaccurate as the thumper that i used in the first game but the thing about the thumper was i would literally run into an enemy's face and then spray but the bone shredder you know you're supposed to be able to like from a distance you know shoot 
things and pop them in the head. Which brings me on to my second problem with the Bone Shredder. It doesn't have a scope. It doesn't have the cool rectangle landscape profile scope. Landscape profile? Landscape, whatever. Oriented scope that the first game's Shredder had. In the first game, Shredder, as I explained yesterday, you zoom in, and the entire screen is the zoom in. There's no, like, edges of the circle that are blackened, because, you know, obviously the circle's not the same shape as my TV screen. But in this one, there just wasn't a, um, wasn't a scope at all. Maybe it was the, maybe, you know what, you know what it could have been? Maybe it was actually the one that I got. Maybe, because I do believe you can get the um, the gun multiple times. I, although I never actually tried doing that. Um, and I'm pretty sure each time you get it, the stats are slightly different. But, um, yeah, I'm really disappointed about it. It was just like the standard, well, not, not, not so standard, but a little crosshair thingy, but not zoomed in at all. And that really bummed me out. It was basically like shitting all over the the great history of the Bone Shredder. And that made me really... But the other, or the other thing was um, had a decent size clip size, but it was one of those guns that had the double clips. Uh, I think Gunzerk has used that at some point. Um, so it's a submachine gun, but it's got like so many bullets that it's actually got two separate clips that are sort of on diagonal angles. And when you reload, you pop out both and you clip them back in. Um, which I like that style, but that's not what the TDO is. If the TDO is anything, I would liken it to a dull submachine gun. Which, um, that's, well, that's why it has that, because it's a bandit one. Bandit's ones have the double clips. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, now, I'd liken it to a dial submachine gun, which I wouldn't want, because I don't want freaking burst fire when I zoom in either. But it, it had, like, a single, you know, thing in me do that, that you pop in. A single clip that you just pop in. But yeah, I was really, really disappointed in the Bone Shredder. Now, the reason why I only got one, um... I mean, I, I could have tried for another one, but um, the the son of Mothrak, like the the, ar the area that you fight him, I never never, never never noticed this before. But when you fight him, um, you when he drops his loot, sometimes the loot just clips through the world and you can't get it. And that's so dumb. It's just ridiculous. I think I tried like three times to get the gun before I actually got it. And by the end of it, I was like, stuff this, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I guess if I bothered to put the work in, I could have got my hands on another bone trend that might have had that clip. But that still wouldn't excuse the fact that it sprays all over the place. And it's just not the same gun. It's just not. It's just different. It's just... It's just not the same gun. Besides, I'm, I'm kind of over some machine guns. I don't really use them that much. I, so, I sort of res reserve some machine guns for, um, like, elemental guns, like corrosive or something like that. But anyway, that is the Bone Shredder. Uh, that is also, uh, you know, Japanese bakeries, I guess. Um, well, I mean, if we want to get into bakeries, you've got, like, cake shops, which are completely different from your bakeries that sell these tiny little, like, espresso-sized cakes that you could just eat in one bite, almost. You could literally fit this cake in your mouth in one go. Um, you probably could bite, it's not, it's not like bite-sized, but you could fit it in your mouth. You know what I mean? Um, but they're super, super expensive. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculously expensive. But, um, you know, whatever. Cake. I just eat, I just eat chocolate. You know, just more chocolate, more better. Or all those really sweet croissants. You know, I actually kind of want to eat more of those croissants. Yeah, those croissants were pretty good. But anyway. Alright, well, uh, when we come back, um, maybe I'll talk more about food. <laughs> now I got food on my mind. Um, well, you won't have food on your mind tomorrow. Well, I might. I might still be hungry. 
true. It depends on when you do it. If you do it like when you wake up. Usually I'm not that hungry like the moment I wake up. But after I've been awake for a few hours, I'm like, you know what? I could eat a whole pig. Yeah, that was good. I might have a sleep now. And then I'll wake up. Ah, uh, I'm not hungry now. Three hours later. You know what? I could eat the back leg of a cow. Yep. Alright, I'll take a sleep now. And that's basically my life. Just, you know, sleep. Not eat. Eat. Sleep. Sometimes, you know, I, I actually take a dump. Uh, because, you know, when you eat that much food, sometimes you're going to do it. But mostly, sleep. Not eat. Well, there's, there's, there's sleep. Not sleep and not eat. Eat. And then sleep again. So when you're sleeping, you're not eating. Then you're not eating or sleeping. And then you're eating but not sleeping. And then you go go back to sleeping and not eating. Yeah. What if you were eating and sleeping at the same time? That doesn't make sense. You're actually an idiot. So let's not dwell on this anymore. Unless it was an IV drip. That's the only way. You're not technically eating. If it's an IV, it's not really... <sighs> Why we, I thought you were going to start iOS. So you know what, when we come back, uh, we'll be doing some more fast traveling. But for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.